Let's start it off with the Miami Dolphins. Steph, they had a number of different runners last year. Fitzpatrick actually led them in rushing yards. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be Patrick Laird in 2020. So what do you think the Dolphins are going to do in free agency? Which free agent name sticks out to you? Or do you think they're going to draft the guy? Yeah, so something really interesting about the, the five teams – in this last tier that we have is three of the five also don't have a clear starting quarterback. And we broke those down last week on our quarterback free agency episode. But for the Dolphins, you know, they have the 105 pick in this draft. I think that's Tua is the chalk pick there. And I agree. Uh, the Finns have a lot of interesting moves they can make. But I personally would think that at the, the 18th overall pick, they take DeAndre Swift out of Georgia, the number one running back in this class by most folks' standards. I know there's some debate there, um, but in terms of the eye test, stat-wise, I think Swift is is a great running back for that system, and he's going to come in with Tua. They're going to learn together. Now, I don't know if Tua is starting from, from week one or if that's Fitzmagic easing them in, but I think Swift is going to be a guy who can, can take over for that backfield, and now that uh, Adam Gase is no longer the Miami Dolphins head coach, hopefully we can get a valuable running back back in Miami. Um, and then the Dolphins also have two picks in the second round, two picks in the third round. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they address some other needs in the first round where they have three picks, the fifth, the 18th, and the 26th, and then maybe take a shot on a running back a little bit later. You know, we saw two undrafted free agents in Damian Williams and Raheem Moster in the Super Bowl. So, you know, the meta is changing a little bit in terms of, you know, what are the best teams doing in terms of running back. Uh, but I think here, you know, lock in a first round running back for the Miami Dolphins. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, I love it. I, I think they're much more likely to draft a guy. As you mentioned, they're probably going to take a quarterback with that number five pick, or maybe they even trade up you know, package one of their late first rounders or second rounders to move up to two or three to try to secure that guy. And I think with that depth you've got in the first, you know, the first two days of the draft, you got to take a running back. You mentioned DeAndre Swift. There's a ton of other good running backs in this class. There's a lot of hype around Cam Akers, and he's actually a really polarizing guy. There's Jonathan Taylor, J.K. Dobbins. There's plenty of talent in this draft at the running back position. And like Absolutely. you mentioned with Raheem Mostert and Damian Williams, like we've seen these guys in the NFL – um, be starters on the best teams without having to be a first round or a second round pick. When you think about some of these teams that are making it uh, to the Super Bowl to the end of the season, like they're not guys that are day one picks in the NFL draft. And you think about, you know, Philip Lindsay and Devin Singletary, and there's a lot of pro like Kareem Hunt when he was on the Chiefs and even now in the Browns, he was like a round three pick. So a lot of a lot of the NFL teams these days are kind of waiting and getting these mid round guys and saying, hey, let's bolster our O line, let's get a good passing game and get a guy who can get the job done. But it doesn't have to be the most dynamic running back in the league. We saw some of the top backs in the league this year miss the playoffs. Guys like Christian McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, those are great running backs, but look at what their teams are doing. So I think they're probably fine to take a solid running back in the second or third round and use that first round on the quarterback, on the O-line, and with some defense. So I think some of these names we mentioned would be great. They probably won't get swift if they wait, but I think a Jonathan Taylor or a Cam Akers would be a great fit for that Miami team.